Hey guys, it's Allie and I'm back with another video and once again, of course, it's all about Young Nails today. So I use a lot of their products at work, um, but as you can see, I'm at home. I'm in my little practice she shed. And so I went ahead and ordered kind of like a replica of what I have at work and that is the Mission Control by Young Nails. Um, you've probably seen other companies come out with something like this. I, I've used some other ones, some generic brands. I don't like it as much. So the Mission Control, it's basically, it's similar to a gel polish, but it goes on a little bit thicker and it's wonderful for nail art. They also have the Mission Control with the gold and the silver. I have that one at work, but I bought this one for home. It has all of these colors. I use the white and the black a lot. Um, the other good thing about it is I can mix colors as well. So I have a tile at work. So if I want to make, you know, a color a little bit, you know, maybe mix some purple with some white, you can go ahead and do that on your tile, mix it around, and then you can use it with your brush. So I just wanted to go over what comes in the kit with you. And then I'm going to do a little demonstration, maybe do a little bit of nail art today. So that is right now on Nail Tech 101. All right, so now you can kind of see it's a little bit more up close. You can see the colors. I'm gonna take them out of the box. I really love this stuff. So hopefully I can get it out without ruining the box. I'm kind of OCD about those things. At work, I keep them in a, it's kind of like a little plastic container. Um, in the beginning, I kept them in the box, but it was easier for me to see them this way. So open up the box. First thing you notice, is the detailing brush. So this brush is amazing. I have two of them at work. They're so tiny, if I can get this open. But the detailing that you can do with it is amazing. If you can see it, take this off here. See how small that is? It's perfect for doing little tiny, well you can do dots with it. I actually, if my client's watching, my favorite client, Mary, I used that little brush to draw a little heart on her nail yesterday. So as you can see, they kind of come in like this. So we've got the black, the white, I guess I should read the little names on here, clutch, it's a kind of a brown, orbit, which is the purple, giant it's like their darker green you've got sonic things falling off huh this is a teal color that one's really pretty you've got power up it's a red mega jam it's, that one's more of a bright pink taser Molten, Solar, they're yellow, and then we've got the Clash, which is more of their neon, neon green. So I'm going to go ahead and open these up and show you guys what they look like. Probably paint some on a little nail tip so you can actually see what they look like on the nail. All right, so I got them all open. And I guess they're a little bit messy. It took me, I would say it took me about five minutes to open all of them. It's got these, you know, it's got the, I should pull them out, but I just took my little scissors, just kind of cut open the top, pulled it off, threw them away. Now they're ready to go. So I'm just gonna get a little nail tip so I can show you what each color looks like and how fine the um, colors can go on. The other great thing about the Mission Control is you can use it as a gel polish, so you can just cover the entire base of the nail and use it as your color underneath. And the other thing I really like is, you know, I told you in the beginning I've ordered some generic brands before. 
Um, the good thing about the Young Nails Mission Control is, let's say, like I use my black and my white the most. So if I run out of these two, I can always go on there and just order those two colors. I don't have to order the entire kit again, which is amazing. So I'm just gonna take out my brush. So normally, like I said, I'll use my tile. Today I'm not gonna do that, but what I am gonna do I might use that in my next video and I'll show you if you watch the next video I'll show you how to do that but I'm gonna take my swipe I'm just gonna put it on cotton that way I can you know after each color I can use it just to wipe off the excess so we'll start with the white just kind of dip it in there see how thin that line is and it doesn't really move like regular paint, which is something I like. My hands are shaky today. It's all right. Got the black. Hope you can kind of see. This one's like a bluish purple, more blue. I'd mix this with something else to maybe make it more purple. Brown. Red. This one's a pretty color, I like this. It's like a minty green. Is there a darker green? This one's more of a coral, coral color. They're yellow. And then kind of their lime green. So, Gotta put it over here on the white. Kind of see all the different colors. They're pretty fun. Then I just take my little, switch it around in there. Perfect, ready to go for the next, next time. So, I'll also show you <coughs> then if I wanted to keep this, these will start drying as you're just doing the painting, but you can just put it in your LED light. It freezes in 15 seconds, so that's also amazing. Super fast drying time. That way if you're doing nail art over a client's nails, you just have to freeze it 15 seconds and it's ready for the top coat. So now what I'm gonna do, I'll get a bigger brush out, if I have one here. We'll use this one. Normally I'd like to use a bigger brush than this, but I'm just gonna take some swipe, get it ready. Heard my light go off. So with this, it's already dry. Ready for a top coat. 
so we'll pick, now let's see which one should we use, <laughs> maybe some pink. Oh, see this isn't a great brush, but you can see you can use it just like a gel polish. The good thing about using this as a base coat is since it does cure so fast, kind of save you some time, which is nice. As you can see, as I'm going over it again, it's thickening up. Perfect. So I'm going to put that in there, freeze it, 15 seconds. <coughs> Love these colors. I will say at work, if you're going to go ahead and maybe um, order this from Young Nails, I would say probably the brown is the one I used the least. I probably used this one in the fall just for, you know, leaves and stuff like that. During the summer, I used the green, the yellow, the pinks, the oranges. All right, so here's that as a base coat. See how shiny it already is? This doesn't even have a top coat on it. So this nail is actually ready to go for any nail art. All right guys, so that was just my quick tutorial on the Young Nails Mission Control. Um, if you want to watch my next video, I'm gonna show you how to use some of the colors, how to use the brush, do a little bit of nail art, but I just wanted to go over the colors really fast for you. Um, I know I've said this in previous videos, but I really like the Young Nails line. I like everything about them and the Mission Control is one of the best things that I think they've created. I love that you can, you know, use it as a base color. I love that you can use it for striping. You can use it, um, we'll go over it in my next video, but you can take it, do a little heart design, put some glitter in it, freeze it, it's good to go. Um, like I've said, I've, I've tried other brands and even with the small detailer brush, it kind of goes on like regular gel polish. So you're having to do multiple coats and I just don't have time for that sometimes at work want to get it done. So um, make sure to subscribe, catch my next video with some nail art, and thank you for watching Nail Tech 101.